You know, I'm just gonna be point blank blunt in this video. I am sick and tired of just how anime goes to Netflix to die. There's rare exceptions, like you have Cyberpunk, Beastars, and we also have Devilman Crybaby to a certain extent, but for the most part, anime usually go to Netflix to die. When it is released on Netflix, for the most part, the anime dies in obscurity because either A, there's no discussion around it because for one, it, you know, appears for like a day, the, all the episodes, people may talk about it for one day, and then they forget about it in a week's time, or it just has a really crappy release schedule like how JoJo's been to also this series that I'm even making this video on, and let's just, let's get into this. This is gonna be a rant video, so if you don't want to hear a rant video by me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you just you probably shouldn't watch this because I'm a little bit frustrated at this point because I've been honestly and I think many of us have been patiently awaiting the return of a Sekai oji song like I I love this series like I absolutely love this anime and I think many of us and I saw when I was reviewing it with my episode reviews everybody can agree with me this is a fantastic show and it experienced obviously a lot of problems, either through Netflix not being able to release it on a weekly basis for everyone around the world, to also just production issues underneath everything to where the series just fell right on its face and it was delayed until today. So, thanks to all these problems kind of plaguing, you know, a Sekai son it's resulted in us having to wait for a while, and don't get me wrong, I'm willing to wait and be patient, especially if there is production issues. That's not necessarily the problem I have with the issues of everything. My problem is that Netflix has had months, okay? They were finally catching up and releasing Uncle Asakai on the day of release in Japan, when it was, you know, coming out, basically, last season. They, at first, like, the first three or four episodes, they were kind of behind, they didn't release on the same day, but then they started to do that, and then it was like, oh, okay, good job, Netflix, you're finally starting to kind of release the show, and with everything kind of happening with the delays and stuff, you'd think Netflix would be ready to go and ready to deliver Uncle Asakai on the same day, since people have been waiting, you know, technically, like, they've had enough time to maybe be able to license it or translate it, whatever, you know, they would be able to release it, you know, on the day it airs, but that is not the case, because here, I want to show you, if you look at the episodes right here, there's only seven episodes, and today, episode eight is supposed to come out, there's already leak images, or not leak images, these are images from the episode people that have technically gotten to watch the episode, because FYI, Uncle Asekai has aired in Japan, it is already out, but there is no legal way to watch it, and I'm just gonna say the truth here, this is why people pirate anime, I've said it before, but I'll say it again, when you force people not to be able to watch a show legally, when they want to watch it, People are going to find alternative means, because at this point in time, we don't know when Netflix is going to decide to release episode 8, for we can actually watch said episode 8. So this means that if we want to watch said episode 8 and stay up to date with the series, we're going to have to go other routes. Fan subs, etc. And it's just like, look, I'm not putting out fan subbers or anything like that, because they also put in a lot of work for what they do. They are definitely like the unspoken heroes to a certain extent. But the point, though, is, is that the reason why piracy exists is because these companies do not want to offer a service to people. And it just, it bugs my mind that Netflix has had so months now, like two months now, to kind of get all this together, and they still have not gotten it together to be able to release this series. And this is not just Uncle Asakai, this happens for so many anime, and it's just, it's so disappointing, because it's like, this series is already going to struggle on its release. Like, when the episode comes back, like today, it's already going to struggle, like, even hypothetically, okay? Let's just, let's go on a limb here, and let's just say Uncle Asakai was released on Netflix today, like, it, episode 8 was here, I was able to watch it, it would still struggle, and the reason for that is a mixture of things. The delay, like a two-month delay for a new episode, to also the fact that this anime season is just so jam-packed with content that people are probably just going to completely forget about Uncle Asakai. That's the truth. People will 100% forget about the series. I'm willing to bet you most people that clicked on this video might have completely forgotten about it. And they're like, oh yeah, that was a series, wasn't it? And that's the scary part. And so, the fact that Netflix is already putting more hamper on the situation, it just, it's, this poor series, man. Uh, Uncle Asaka is always in the mud, and I just, it hurts because it's such a unique and fun reverse of Sakai. I just, I wish it wasn't getting mistreated like it is. But, um, yeah, I just, 
I, I wanted to offer my rant because honestly, I was just, I was very excited. I was so excited to be able to watch the episode today and I've literally been waiting all day, come to find out that Netflix isn't going to release it. And I'm like, okay, Netflix. That's all I gotta say, but um, I guess I'm gonna leave it at that. I, I I just I wanted to make a brief rant because I wanted to make a review video for the series, but soon as I guess fan subs come out, if because I gotta wait for that, I guess I'll review this, you know, the episode. But uh, anyways, you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy, chibi out.